Well, this is a day one first impression, Dennis. So you've had the truck for, or you've seen the truck, and you've been driving a little bit for a little bit less than, what is it, four hours now? What's your impression of the exterior of the Cybertruck? So it was kind of unfortunate because delivery was pretty late in the day and the sun was already down, but we had an exterior lighting from the Tesla store, which we were able to walk around, but it is certainly a striking car for sure. Stainless steel all over the place. Fingerprints, I was trying to test it to see if the fingerprints <laughs> stuck, but I mean, we'll see tomorrow during the daytime when it's actually, if it's clean or not, but big ass car. Trunk is great or the bed is huge definitely got a presence that no other vehicle has especially with that front light bar in the front like you just it's just striking wherever you go we've already been stopped a few times truckers taking pictures of us giving us thumbs up um, besides that like it's it's everything you see if not better because once you see it in person it looks way better in person yeah I think it looks better in person I was actually able to see some of the angles before the sun set and I think it looks very futuristic. It looks really cool. It looks like a toy that came true. And I've seen people say it's a work of art. But of course, all prototype cars are a work of art. However, this is now a production car. So I would say the coolest thing is that this is a prototype to production that looks genuinely really, really close to the prototype, which is amazing. So the first take is it's amazing there's a lot of people interested it's polarizing i love the look of it it's very different it's very unique it's the first of a lot of a lot of things and it, it's really cool it, it's the, the closest thing is a delorean and we all know that car is amazingly cool too so cool factor is huge on the exterior i, I really like it yeah cool factor out of 10 is like 20 or 40 or 50 even drivability will get there and maybe like i'm really curious to see how this stainless steel holds up like and exterior temperatures or just rain or I mean we're not gonna have any snow in California but we are going to Joshua Tree so we'll see how if the dirt sticks to it but we saw a ton of cyber trucks at the delivery center there's probably what 10 or 20 of them About 20. they were all pretty filthy and check out uh, David's channel if you want to see the footage of that I'm still not even sure like I don't think anybody has ceramic coated one of these yet no. there's plenty of wraps but is ceramic coat, does, it even, does ceramic coat even stick to this car? Like, is it gonna help with keeping it clean? Uh, so we'll, time will tell. Oh, but I gotta say, the coolest thing I I know about the exterior, I have, we obviously can't test it yet, but the debt-free, worry-free, because I can park this car at the supermarket or anywhere, and I don't have to worry a dang thing about any door dings, because it won't get dinged. That's my favorite part about it. So that is yet to be proven, but I think a lot of YouTubers have done kicks and punches and even used a sledgehammer on it. Yeah. And it's stronger than you can imagine. So it could take a bullet. So there we go. So that's that's the coolest part about the exterior to me. That's going to be the fun part because we usually, we used to take care of our cars and like trying to keep it in super good condition. And maybe David does more than I do, but I like driving cars and just using the heck out of it. Like if you're going to spend all this money, you might as well Drive, daily drive it or take it wherever. I mean, spray it down and keep it clean and stuff, but don't keep it like a shiny new toy in your garage and never take it out. That's kind of the opposite of what I feel like a truck, especially a truck should be doing, should be doing. It definitely should be taken out. So that's why we're going to Joshua Tree right now to take it to see if we can handle it. Yeah, I think this is, that's actually a very good perspective. It's the first Tesla truck. So it's the first Tesla that you don't have to baby because all Teslas are beautiful, right? Yeah. Whether you look at the Model 3 or the Model S, they're all beautiful. Even the Roadster that came out in the beginning with the Lotus Elise chassis, all gorgeous. You don't want to scratch at that, but that's just like a, a garage queen. And this one, even on the delivery day, you don't even care if it comes with a thing. Like that's how cool it is because it is like, it's, it's a truck. Yeah. That's it. It's a truck. It's awesome. It's a Tesla and it's a truck. And the lights, the exterior lights, like great visibility. It's all LED, of course. Uh, and the sitting up high like this is also fantastic as well. And then the rear lights, the rear tail lights, that light bar is, I think it's like a Star Wars menacing type of Vader, yeah. like coming down. I know, I feel like that's why a lot of Cybertrucks we see so far are like matte black because it's like the Batman or Dark Vader type of look as it's rolling down the highway past you. Oh, actually, you know what? A funny fact is that maybe you already know this, but I didn't know this. But the front light bar is actually not the headlight. 
it's just a light bar for accent lighting. Right. The headlight is down below. Yeah. So it's it's kind of interesting. I never see headlights like that. And I love that light bar. It looks so cool because I always like the light bar on the the back end of like Porsches and this has the, the back light bar, it also has a front light bar. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting Tesla went with that front light bar like that because I don't think I've seen, well, I guess like the Mercedes EQS has similar, but just not as thick like that in the front, is, which is, you when you see a Cybertruck, you're definitely, you know it's a Cybertruck coming because of how thick and wide that light bar is coming down the road. Yeah, Tesla's good with some dominating, out of the world design cues that stick. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, they push design. I mean, you've probably watched some of the other videos out there, like Jay Leno and how they talked about the design of it. And it's crazy that like, they, we're, I'm still, I'm still in disbelief that A, we're in a truck right now. We got to take delivery and we're in a road trip 20 hours from Texas to California and we're in this badass freaking truck. So that's day one. We need to see this car in daylight. So let's put it that way. Yeah, well, we'll see how many bugs as we drive to the highway, how many yes. bug collections it gets for uh, as we drive from 